This video is sponsored by Vanguard. Check out vanguardworld.com for tripods, camera bags and cases to suit all budgets. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Samsung Galaxy S4. A big thank you to Carphone Warehouse for sending over this review unit. Check out the link underneath this video where you can order your very own Samsung Galaxy S4 from Carphone Warehouse. Now in this video, it's all about the numbers. The Samsung Galaxy S4 actually sports a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor, so very, very fast indeed. And in actual use, it feels absolutely fine, but I know a lot of you like to see the numbers. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a Geekbench 2 benchmark and also a Quadrant benchmark as well. Let's start off with the Quadrant benchmark. This is the first time of running it, so you're experiencing this the same time as me. So let's get this under underway. You can see it's already flying through the CPU benchmarks and moving on to the memory benchmarks already. Now I should mention this has got two gigabytes of RAM, which obviously helps with the performance, and that 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor. Now in day-to-day -day use, you're not really going to notice the difference between maybe a 1.9 gigahertz processor and a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor, or even a dual core. But when you're using memory intensive tasks, such as games and multitasking, etc., you may well notice it. Some phones do exhibit lag when switching between screens, etc. But this Samsung Galaxy S4 is Samsung's flagship premier mobile phone for 2013, and it should give an impressive benchmark. So let's tap yes and see what we've got. And wow, that is absolutely amazing. Let's give you a close up of that. So this has actually come in the, the HTC One X just below it to give you some sort of comparison. The overall benchmark, 12,371. That is an amazing score. Let's give you some specifics. So t total 12,371. CPU score, 39,774. So 39,774. Memory, 11,236. And then IO8125, 2D score of 517 and 3D of 2205. That is an absolutely amazing score. Let's go back out to our home screen and we're going to Geekbench 2. Let's have a look at how this is going to perform. This gives you some specifics about the phone. You can see it's running Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. The memory is actually shown as 1.78 gigabytes. Let's run the benchmarks. And again, I'll just give you a little bit of detail about the Samsung Galaxy S4 while this is running. This is a absolutely fantastic feeling phone. I've only had it for a few hours so far, but it feels really nice in the hand. Also, it's got 16 gigabytes of storage capacity and you can boost that up with micro SD as well, an additional 64 gigabytes if you put a 64 gig card in there. You've got masses of storage for all of your photos and music. This has come in already. Wow, it ran through that benchmark so quickly. And look at this score again, 2937. That is an absolutely amazing score again, blisteringly fast. Uh, integer score of 2082, floating point 4846, memory 2218, and a stream score of 693, total 2937. This is surely the fastest smartphone that I've handled this year so far. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4. Again, please do check those links out underneath this video. Hit like on this video as well, it really does help me. And I'll see you all in the next one.